It is time. We're gonna be we're gonna be using the spreadsheet again on this run. We're going Lakeburg. We're gonna go engineering and siege just because, you know, I, I don't want to focus too much on that part of the game. Uh, oh, I don't think it'll be a tightrope in Lustrous, but I, I'm curious to think why uh, why you necessarily think it would. Uh, no forehead thruster merch as of yet, uh, Pallone, but uh, but it could it could happen. I'm thinking at some point I'm gonna do stickers, and I want to do stickers for the emotes. So let's get let's get our heroes going here. See what we're see what we're working with. So oh, I I think we'll we'll do it properly. So I'm gonna bring this up for a second. So this is the this is the information about our heroes and. As is previously something that we've already discussed, I can hit F12, and, and if all goes according to plan, cross your fingers, hold your breath, uh, this should uh, show up. There should, uh, yep, little progress bar shows up at the bottom. We've written some data to the spreadsheet. Raquel shows up, and then the grid should update, indicating that we've pulled it. <laughs> to, your, to your entire life savings. So let's, uh, let's double check to make sure everything parsed correctly. Looks really good. Good. So I, I made some changes. So now the scrolling is automatically accounted for. But let's go ahead and grab this. And I'm going to go ahead and just add, uh, add that like that. There we go. And then we'll go to our next hero. So let's take a look at this hero really quickly, though. Sorry. Need to go back to merge. So you are a cleric, fey blood, and no pants dance, but 12% crit. That is a lot of crit, and we can actually see that reflected if I go to the grid and take a look at it. Crit power with accuracy is big money right now for this particular hero. The, uh, the only better option is momentum and accuracy with a wand? Hold on. I think it, uh, I think it misdetected the weapon. Let me double check this. No, level zero wand. How curious. Okay, well, that's... Let's double check over here in Hero. Ah, uh, okay, got it. That's why. It uh, it defaulted to an offhand wand. That's why the, uh, the grid was the way that it was. So let's take a look again here. There we go. That's more like what we'd expect. Crit power and magic damage are the, the good ones. We we had an issue with none showing up. I, I have to make some changes to the way that that works, but it won't stop us. So anyways, perks wise, we got a stun poison build. What do I want to do with you? I do like a good stun poison build. What else would we want here? Yeah, I think I think we could make this potentially work. We'll grab some hex, some big game. So this is one, two. Grab two here. We have one surplus, which can grab be grabbed there. Then we have a second surplus here. We'll grab runic gift. We we're short on. We do have a blood mage build here also available. Okay, let's come back. For now, I'm going to build this one this way. But if we if we can get a blood mage, we haven't had a blood mage in a while. Now, our next person here is Edlin. Hero, Trollblood, Thick Skin. Looks pretty good. Let's, uh, let's put him through the grinder here. And let, let's see if the, uh, if the weapon... Yeah, okay. So the weapon is working just fine now. So they... Edlin here benefits mostly from physical damage. Let me... Toss her into the hero specific sheet real quick. There we go. So benefits most from physical damage and opportunism. Yeah, so this is, I, I wrote this myself. Uh, I wrote this myself, Pallone. So this is uh, this is a spreadsheet. It, it's still a little bit jank. We're still we're still working out the details. But this is a spreadsheet that I wrote that is the damage calculator, and then I wrote something that parses screenshots and fills in all of the hero stats based on that. So so we can use it to guide our level ups. Like right now, we're benefiting most from isolate from isolation, but crit power also has a decent one. What's your crit at? Eleven percent again. Wow, we have some high crit power heroes. All right, but that's Edland, and then last but not least, we have Leland. 
Oh yeah, wait, we need to do we need to do Edlin's build potentially here. Uh she She's lacking boom. So we can't really go that direction with her. She's lacking volatile, so we can't go We can't go bees. Ooh, she's a tough one. She's a tough hero. Thank you, Pallone. Yeah, it was it was fun making. This is kind of the evolution. I still have more work that I want to do on it, but we're gonna take a little break for the Runenberg release. Oh, this is this is a really tough hero. I think we I think we go XP on this hero and replace them in the future. So maybe we go like poison XP. Good old PXP. So we'll we'll try and force up the levels of our other heroes. Um Given the no pants thing here, I don't think we can afford to make them a Brickella Blood Mage. So that means I think it's going to be Stun Poison here. TLS needs to sponsor me. I don't know about that one. So now we can go on to Leland. Healing received, Cruel and Thug. Wow, our we got so lucky with uh, with crit on these heroes. Let's uh, let's let's process him. Yeah, so Pallone, you can see the little blue bar along the bottom of the screen, hopefully. That's the that's the spreadsheet updating after the, the screenshot gets OCR'd and all of the data gets put in. All right, there we go. And then over here, so now we have, we have Leland. He has a crossbow, which is why ranged is looking good. And yeah, ranged is, is the dominant stat. I'm surprised crit power isn't a little stronger. It's in the top. It's in the top echelon, eighteen point three percent. But let's uh, let's get Leland copied and pasted and like thatted. Okay, and and now we're ready to go. So whoops, we're ready to go. Minus the fact that I wish I could have multiple copies of the spreadsheet up so that I could make changes without messing up things. But uh, I think for Leland. I think we're just going crit. The fact that they're already at 21% crit is kind of insane. We we love to see it. We love to see it. For now, maybe I'll go harvester. I think that's fine. Then runic gift. Longer arms. Flexibility, Crit Master, Legendary Assassin, that, and Don't Panic. So this is going to be a standard multi-hit build. No, I tried it in Lustrous, and the way that Google Spreadsheets works, it won't update the spreadsheets on two independent tabs that are open at the same time. Uh, maybe if I used Firefox for one of them and Chrome for the other one, then I could, but if you have multiple Chrome tabs open with the same spreadsheet, if you edit one, it won't update on all of them. Uh, it, the formulas won't propagate on all of them. So I got into this weird situation where some of them were hanging around like latently. It was not, it was not great. Um, but anyways, we'll we'll hide that now. So we're you know when we're in combat, we won't mess with that. But then I think Leland can can take the. Take that. Now, Leland also had a little bit of XP issue. So maybe we actually we leave this on our poison XP hero. So get get you as much XP as possible. Hopefully we can eke out like an extra level. Then we'll give Raquel with the shield the offhand here. And we'll leave Leland with the crossbow for now. All right. We can't destroy anything. We are going to lure stuff into our base. Corpse strats are going to be a thing that we do. So let's get this party started. Okay, we can we can technically We can technically do that to kind of block things off. I think that all gets kills. Yeah, and I think we, are we gonna, we could probably like eke out and poke the, poke the bat. Uh, it's a kill though on the bat if we do it that way. 
All right, well, yeah, you can't can't break an omelet without something somethinging some eggs or something. If you stand here, yeah, I think this gets it. Okay, we may we may have a hit on on that, but the runners are annoying for sure. But unlike a. Uh, Come on. So let's see, I think. That was disappointing. Did we just we just flat out missed that guy. That was unfortunate. I think we gotta we gotta ice some of these runners that are gonna be coming in extra hot. And then we really we really lack a bit of softening capacity. Let's see. I mean this doesn't hit that hard. Maybe we can maybe the ones that are gonna walk in we can yeah, they'll all survive and they'll they'll walk in and that'll give us a little bit of something. We are going to have bat problems shortly here. I'm trying to think if there's any way to not at the moment, I don't think. I mean, I guess I could like If you walk around this way, yeah, we lose we lose some of that, and then unfortunately, I guess bats are gonna be next turn. This is this is gonna get a little hairy though. Hang on to your pants. Oh come on. No omen of dexterity, what can you say? Okay, let's see, so... I, I hate that a lot of the things that I thought I was killing didn't end up dying. That's uh, that's a bit of a bummer. Like we got we got these two. I think we can. We'll do this with a magic missile just to make things a little less painful. But the breakpoints are breakpointing. So let's see, if I move to here, I don't have much of a runaway. I do have transfer points, though, so maybe we do this. Ah, uh, that's a lot of kills. We're getting kind of overrun here. Oops. Do you have any movement? No. We'll, we'll hit you with a transfer. Keep keep trying to block this up. Okay, enough of that. There we go. And then... The runners we're just gonna... We're just gonna take out. Alright, and I think we're, we're good on this turn. So let's just armor up where we can. So this this is definitely the turn to use one of these. That's a that's a great start.
Man, the poison daggers. Not a... Uh, not what you need in a pinch. Also, also ranged weapons. Hooray for you. Uh, oh my word. For two mana, this will kill the four. I think that's fine. Save the AP. But then we do need someone to come... Zap this guy. Get rid of you. You're coming in just fine. And then... Do you still have a transfer? Yeah, you can transfer to here, I guess. The, this runner should run to here, which means they won't attack anything, which I think is great. I think we, I think we chill. Except for that bat. I don't think there's any value to hang on to that bat. And then we can move here. That's still covering. Okay. We're good. Yeah, I think I think runners are the biggest early game threat in ooh, in in all of the last spell. That was great. Great work. Now, if you move to here... I don't like that I wasted... Uh... I wasted one shot there. Let's see. Yeah, they're they're just they're less predictable for kind of controlling the wave, is is my thinking. Let's see. So if we, I'm gonna send. Oh, we can't. Well, we can move back like this. Send one transfer here, which at least gets you the kill there. And then, that's pretty good. All right, and then unfortunately, yeah, we come up a little bit shy on this guy, but... Hey, Candle, how's it going? We'll probably lose the S here. Oh, no, we did okay. Not bad. Love to see it. Okay, let's use these up before we... Before we go any further. I'm getting so hyped for Runenberg. Alright. Decent first night. I guess technically not over. These guys aren't going to end up where, where the bulk of things are anyways, so I'm just going to... I'm just gonna zap them this way. No need to, uh, no need to belabor things. 
Not bad. Raquel got a few extra kills, but... We got our we got our requisite two mountains. That's a very awkward miss sensor there, but let's uh let's see. Get a cash and then we have we have a night reward, so let's get that first. Let's see. The woolen pants aren't terrible. But let's let's find a weapon if we can. We're not really doing hammer strats with anyone. Ooh, the early warp crystal. That is expensive, but I don't I don't mind it. Certainly not exactly what we're looking for. Okay, so poison XP is what I said for you. Uh, accuracy is just it's just good business, and. I'll take the poison. I didn't really do a build for you because I was like, hmm, what are we even going to do with you? Can make you poisonous. Just go for like a... Go for someone dying to toxic leechery. Hmm. Gosh, I hope you don't hang around until you get Fortress Master. We have most of a momentum build without the boom. I'll grab it. Oh yeah, actually, I, I, I guess we are going poison, aren't we? Hmm. I'm not excited about this poison build, but we'll do it. We'll do it that way, I guess. So we'll grab some septic shock. Oh yeah, and then let's uh, let's demonstrate what's going on here. We'll do it with Leland here. So now you can scroll anywhere where the secondary attributes are on uh, are on screen. Hit the screenshot key. Then I'll I'll bring back up the overlay here, and we should see it. Oh yeah, Leland's name changed. Now it thinks he's M B Leland. That's a, that's a, that's a complexity that I'll have to remember. Changing the hero's names messes with things. So for Leland, we like crit power more than anything. That's what we, that's what we learn from this. Uh, so when we're leveling up, we're looking for crit power. We like isolation and opportunism, obviously, and range damage, but that's going to change when we start gearing them up differently. So we'll take some accuracy. We, we love accuracy. And then... This is, so this is interesting. So we have a green isolation or a gray crit power. Let's compare those two. So gray crit power is sitting at like a 2.3 increase. And what was, what was that compared against? A green isolation is like 2.9. So arguably the isolation is slightly better. Hard to value this, and then also for a multi-hit hero, I don't mind picking up some of this, but I think crit power's the way I want to go, because that is, well, let's grab some isolation. The the game is, the spreadsheet is telling us to, let's, uh, let's not defy the spreadsheet too terribly. And then we got a stun poison hero here. We'll boop them, boop them through. They are pantsless, unfortunately. So Raquel here, we're liking physical damage, we're liking opportunism a lot, and crit power a little bit as well. Live by the spreadsheet, die by the spreadsheet, indeed. Let's grab Septic Shock, because we're going to have no reason to do that. Uh, we, How much do we like crit right now? We like crit to the tune of about like a 6% improvement, but right now we're so desperate for accuracy. Even a gray accuracy is better than than a high level crit, but that, that I think that means I probably want to roll that one, and then since you're I think you like some opportunism, and I'm gonna roll this. Should not have rolled that. <laughs> That's 
the way that's the way the cookie crumbles but everybody is leveled up let's uh let's see so we want to now that we've done done our rolls let's get our demolition done here clear out all of this panic bait can't destroy that one We'll keep the four ruins because sometimes the first night where the waves split, you uh, you have a hard time getting critical mass for uh, for corpses. And then let's see, I I like moving the shop, but I will I will abstain. We can we can tuck a gold mine in there and make it feel not too terrible. Maybe a gold mine, then we put a house. Let's so we put a gold mine there. Then there's a blank. Then we go like house house. We'll pull the rest over, but I want to do that just so we can get get some cash flow going. We can leave the corpses. They're not going to get in the way, but let's uh, let's take a look at the shop and see what we can get going. Did we have anyone that would have been a good, just like regular opportunist? What did we pick up? For level ups, we haven't really picked up any poison on you. I kind of want to pivot you. The, because the first tier one didn't matter that much. But I think it would be fun to do like a, a straight damage opportunist here. Like a, like a sadist build with opportunism. Right? All we need to grab is like Mark, Contagion, Sadist, Runic Gift. I'm not a big fan of Bully in this context. We'll grab XP and we'll grab that one first just so the hero gets some extra levels. Then we'll grab Bully, I guess. And then we can grab like Exploit, Hex, Big Game. I think that's more fun. And then we can pick up something like a, like an Axe. Uh, no, the dud. We're just using the spreadsheet. It's a it's a spreadsheet run. And I will go I will go Power Staff Axe. They're nice and cheap. And then here, we have no momentum hero. It's kind of a bomb amulet, but we don't need it. Yeah, we're we're just uh, we're just enjoying the ride and enjoying the spreadsheet dud until uh, until next week when we. Uh, when things are going to get a little crazy. Offhand crossbow, really not what we're looking for. Although, ah, it's a little too expensive to, to justify. We could grab another wand for sure. Dueling wands isn't terrible. So we'll do that. And then what are we what we're really looking for is we need something... Slap that there. I mean, we can probably go. We can probably go with this. It's not ideal, but these weapons are fine. And then we can save some money and get a a gold mine built. All right, and three ballistas is all is all she wrote. But this this should be a very under control night. We can't stop here. This is bat country. Wow, the, uh... I will say to the credit of the crossbow, or not, uh, it has... It has fallen off a little bit. Pretty soon the crits are going to mean that we can't, uh, we can't effectively uh, soften things up, which we have already gotten to that point, so.
Like, we can soften up, like, bats and those sorts of things, but the rest... The crits are just gonna do too much work on them. I want everyone to, but we're, we are, uh, we are the dud. We're building a build that I haven't built too frequently recently, which is we are going for a proper, uh, a proper opportunist build. Ah, dang it. All right, we'll just, we'll just chill there. We're gonna have plenty to kill this next turn, so let's stop, let's stop ruining our fun. Plenty to kill, I, I may mean too much to kill. Actually, I think we'll be relatively, well, I guess close to okay. Because we're not going to get all three of these. Well, we can do like a... We can do that and then do we... Oh, we don't have one more transfer in the bank. Um, we were close on this guy, but we can't quite get there. No transfer back. We could spend four mana. Eh. Unnecessary, to say the least. Heroes with three movement. I hope we don't do that again. I will say. I think. Uh, I think that's not my. That's not my plan. Hopefully we can avoid... Hopefully we can avoid that. Crossbow. Do do do. <laughs> Ranged weapons. The that's a that is another interesting observation about ranged weapons that I don't normally think too hard about. Is ah oh, boo. I I think I underestimate how annoying ranged weapons are. Ooh, zero movement mod. That could be interesting. But I, I underestimate how annoying the accuracy penalty on ranged weapons is because I always run Omen of Dexterity. The fact that we are not is kind of like a weird outlier. Lawnmower man. Let's see, what's the plan here? Hey, Rune460, thank you so much. Welcome uh, welcome to the community. I, uh, I appreciate you swinging by and saying hi. It always, it always means a lot to me when I, uh, 
when I hear that people are enjoying the content. Truly, it's uh, it's it's a very uh, it's very awesome to hear. So thank you for uh, thank you for sharing and thank you for watching. More importantly, are you uh, are you hyped for the for the new upcoming uh, DLC as much as some of the rest of us are? Candle dropping the gifted sub on Rune 460. Thank you so much, Candle, and welcome, uh, welcome on in Rune to the crew. You're just starting out with the last spell, so not even sure what's coming. Ooh, okay. Well, exciting things is the short version Rune. Uh, so we're getting a new map called Runenberg. Uh, we're getting three new weapons. Oh, that is that is incredibly sweet of you, uh, Candle. I truly appreciate it. Uh, yeah, we're getting three new weapons: the gauntlet, the cannon, and the the shield wall. I believe is is the name of them. We're uh, we're getting some new mechanics that look very interesting, including uh, something called old metals, and old metals are going to allow you to get perks from gear, which would be really cool. Oh my gosh, I, I meant to switch it back to this one for it. Yeah, sorry about that. I, I was, my plan was to swap back and forth between the, uh, the overlay and not the overlay. Uh, and then I just forgot to push the button. Thank you for reminding me, Rune. That's the real reason you said hi. You were like, this guy has some garbage all over the screen. <laughs> all better now. Yeah, I'll, I'll switch it back and forth. When I'm doing levels, I want to bring it up, but I will, uh, I will not keep it up otherwise. That was, uh, that was just a brain fart. All right, so we're gonna do one of these, like so. Let's get our, let's get our item here. Uh, Multi-hit ring, hard to say no. Grab that. Let's do our, let's do our perk level ups first. Defensive training, so we're not wasting anything more there. Uh, Leland. Leland has 161. I don't want to go down to 100 HP right now, so let's grab... Let's grab First Blood. Oh, we got... Oh, no, we, we're good. And then Raquel. I think also let's grab Avid Learner. Just to get things going. Yeah, and because until we get, like, Sadist, we're fine on that front. Okay, so real quick... Now, I am going to bring it back up again. I apologize. But I'm going to bring it back up so we can do some quick checking. Uh, let's check out Raquel here. See what see what the game is telling us we're, uh, we're craving at the moment. Given that now we have two weapons, we're going to get a clearer picture of things. So opportunism is unsurprisingly very, very dominant. But though crit power is doing pretty well too. So we'll look for crit power and opportunism on her. Let's do her level ups. Uh, she has no accuracy at this point, so accuracy is a, is a gimme. Uh, and then we see the green opportunism. I don't think we pass that up. Ooh, that's a fun idea. That's a fun idea indeed, RC. All right, let's uh, let's see what what Edlin is currently doing. Edlin's a weird one because I I picked some poison stuff. So we'll we'll see what she looks like. Come on, spreadsheet. There we go. Uh, it's ooh, she could use some resistance reduction. That's we are assuming a, a slightly resistant enemy, but then also damage is big for her. All right, no surprises there. So we will take we'll take the damage because her accuracy is high enough that that's no longer of interest, and then. Opportunism? Isolation is slightly outstripping opportunism, but we're gonna have some we're gonna have some poison around, so we'll grab some opportunism. And then last but not least, we have Leland here. Yeah, that, that's a really cool idea, RC. For some unknown reason. I don't think you'll remember to switch something something spell rogue dreadstone. 
I mean, that's that sounds like a yesterday thing that was uh, that was extremely true. <laughs> Ooh, okay. All about that crit power life on this hero. You can see crit power resistance reduction really looking quite good. But we'll take that down so that people uh, people can can deal with it. Although I want to double check. Yeah, bl uh, blue damage is really strong for us right now on this hero. So we'll grab the blue damage, and then we'll roll, because we're not really seeing anything much there. Uh, roll twice. All right. Uh, the, the love is not in the building. A little HP regen. Dreadstone. Wasn't it the last run we had? Was that the super painful run? It certainly could have been. So now I think I'm going to... I'm going to destroy this house first. This house is going to move in and get tucked, I think, here for now. And then this is going to get an upgrade. This is going to get an upgrade. So we can do a... We'll get 240 mats so we can really get our, uh, our ballistas cooking. The seasoned operators are the more advantageous first purchase. I, I often don't do that, which is lazy of me, so I apologize, but that's the that's the way to go. And then let's do a little bit more demolition, and then we can continue refining our weaponry. Can't get rid of that. Don't need the corpses here. There we go. Let's take a look at, at what we got on offer here. Okay, nothing nothing too spicy. I do like a good battle mage armor, but I don't think we want to spend our money on it right now. The 110% brain power one. Oh, was, was Dreadstone the one that gave us the ethereal armor on enemies? Or was that the one that caused us to take damage from time to time? Both were horrifically bad. Uh, I'm liking I'm liking two hand crossbows. That might be our our buy for today. Cause I don't mind putting I put one on Leland easy. We'll give Leland the better one because Leland's taking the multi hit. But then Raquel could go. Raquel in the future could go offhand crossbow, but I think for now I'll put it here. And then do we like this more than anything else that we're doing? 4% crit. No, we can sell all these. And then teleport scroll is a good like little bit of insurance to pick up. We certainly could do that, but these inquisitors pants with accuracy, do we have someone who's really low on accuracy? Everyone's around 10%. Dreadstone is the damage on kill. Ah, okay. Got it. Yes, yeah, somewhere. Bane did it on Monday. Beat Lake Lakeburg Apoc 1, literally screamed, and took 21 tries. Congratulations, Bane. That is, uh, that is no small feat. You're climbing the ranks. Heck yeah. Well done. Let's see. So we got a warp crystal there. So we'll do we'll do that for you to have a little bit of movement. And then I think Leland's good over here. You're good over here. And then you have you over here. You have decent enough that I think you can cover either side. Okay. I'm feeling I'm feeling strong. Let's uh let's get this party started once more. Okie dokie. In tonight three we go. Two two two-handed had a two-handed crossbow lady that was hitting for three thousand a shot. Yep, that's uh that's the way the uh, the cookie crumbles to a certain extent. You you love it when it happens, don't you? Let's see. I think I'm just gonna move over to the side this way and get this out of the way. We'll armor up. And then I think we can just... We probably should have debuffed this guy while we were, while we were waiting. Yeah. 
Okay, we're gonna try and get. Don't have a lot of vision to do much, so I think we're just gonna we're just gonna chill, wait for stuff to come in. You need to be a little more in the thick of things, though. Yeah, multi-hit is is strong. There's a very interesting question uh, of whether whether or not we're going to see any nerfs to multi-hit as part of the uh, as part of the update. They they have not shared any details with us. I don't think about any balance changes that they're going to make. The they they got a little bit burned when they did the ballista nerf previously, so. Part of me wonders if they're a little gun shy of nerfing stuff. Wouldn't surprise me, I guess, is is the the short version. Let's see, what's the best way to kill this guy? I think these are still better than the alternative. Let's see. We could. You don't have to move that far. You can. You can die a little closer, and yeah, that's. I guess that's all we do. All right. Good enough. This archer shooting this ruin is very cheeky. I just want to say. So I think it's it's a fine line. I I do think that multi-hit as a game concept needs just a a touch of something. Like it it sounds weird, but like it's it's too good and too reliable in its current form. Just being able to be like, uh, who am I gonna hit? Oh, these specific enemies in this particular order. Like, I wonder if they could. Like, I, what, one thing that I was really excited to see that uh, that I don't, that I think I was hallucinating when I saw, but maybe not, was I thought that they might have added with the cannon a multi-hit attack that had inaccuracy. And by inaccuracy, I don't mean that it, uh, that it hit uh, less accurately, like dodge was enhanced, but that when you targeted this square, it had a chance of hitting any of the four squares in a cardinal direction, which I think could be really cool. I don't know if all multi-hit things should have that penalty associated with them, but I think it could be really neat to experiment with that. Let's see, are you gonna... multi is very strong, yes, but I want Two-Handed Sword to be good at anything other than the basic stat stick. Agreed, agreed. And I I think that we have some hints at the possibility of something. So one of the interesting things is the second ability on the gauntlet. And I'm, I'm thinking at some point I may make a, a video about what we know about the gauntlet. We just don't know a lot quite yet. But the gauntlet may be the first, uh, the first item and this is all hypothetical, we don't know, but to have a non-mana costing uh, propagation attack, which is something that I thought it would be fun for the uh, for the, the two-handed sword to get a non-mana propagation attack, because I thought that it would have been kind of like an interesting, an interesting balance, but I'm happy with the gauntlet also potentially getting that honor. I think that could be cool too. Let's see you. I guess we'll just soften you, and then you're covered. All right, we're good. But yeah, I would love to see Propagation have a hand crossbow equivalent. Essentially, like, 
a skill on a, or a skill on a weapon that is a zero mana propagate skill just for just for parity. But I don't think that solves the two-handed sword problem. <laughs> to be honest. I think I'm I'm still trying to figure that out if if the two-handed sword doesn't get propagate. Well, so Dud, this is the way that I was thinking about it. And I, I don't think you were around when I was uh, when I was playing with this. But what if my my idea was that the sword was propagate one, and it hit one target? So the idea would be the sword would hit here, and it would only propagate one tile. And that's the idea of like you're hitting the primary, and it's kind of like bursting through beyond that. But then the idea is, as your propagate gets better, the, like, shockwaves of your sword go more and more. And, you know, I don't know. I thought it could work thematically. I, I admit it's a bit of a stretch, but I, I thought the idea was kind of neat. And the, idea, and the idea is it would have the same power level initially, but then it would, it would ratchet up significantly as your propagation bounces increased. This chucklehead. All right, I'm, I'm gonna let him come in. He's probably gonna end up staying. Oh, really? You're gonna chew this whole thing down? All right, fine. Let's help him out. A hundred percent not how swords work, but I I love the idea of it. Alrighty. Two mountains, that's all we can that's all we can hope and dream for. So now I think this house needs to get needs to get relocated to here just to clean things up a little bit. And then the question is, I think we once again, hit both of these, and then which of these is more annoying to defend? I think it's this one. If Sword Blast exists, then Propagate Slash is fine. That's that's kind of how I feel. That's kind of how I feel. Right, let's make sure everybody is fully seasoned. Okay, and it looks like we got at least two more. This is about is a good spot for one, and this spot is a good spot for one. Alright, we're a little shy on that second one, but let's do level ups. Love to see Edlin getting that extra level up. Let's see, do you have any XP in the tank? Okay, we'll come. Let's uh let's see. We'll we'll bring up the UI just for a second here while we do some some evaluation. My biggest thing to learn about two-handed sword is that it's not uh, to be used as your main. It's an opener and a closer. I, I mean, Bane, I can see a little bit of that for sure. So let's see, you... All right, because you're using the wand, you're all about that... Or the hand crossbow actually is making you all about that multi-hit life. And then opportunism is okay. Range damage, magic damage. Okay, it's pretty much the things we would expect to, expect to see here but we're gonna do i want to grab some crit if we're going poison and xp i this hero is is just wonky i'll grab the poison i don't know what what my plan is i'm gonna i'm gonna roll for some xp maybe just just really try and catapult them up into the uh the rarefied atmosphere as it were grab some damage grab some crit it's all fine and i guess we're going poisonous and runic gift what a weird what a weird hero. Let's see, then you over here. With the hand crossbow, it's going to be the same thing. Multi-hit is going to be very dominant. What do you mean by all the swords hits by sending a shockwave from one enemy to the other pairs perfectly with his ability to blast six enemies? Oh, no. So the dud, that is a, uh, that is a bit of, like, old lore. So uh, very early on, I'm gonna grab, I think I'm gonna grab glass cannon here. Get our get our crit up. 
back in the day when uh, Jorbs, if so, if you have, if you aren't familiar, Jorbs is a like the preeminent Slay the Spire player, and he's incredible, uh, great streamer. Highly recommend if you haven't watched him to go check him out. But the first time he encountered the two-handed sword, he he looked at the ability, he saw Sword Blast, and he said, "Hmm." I don't think that's how swords work. And it was just, it was a very awesome moment. Uh, I thought it was really funny. And so I've mentioned it here. And uh, and then the idea that a sword would have a propagate attack, I think is very similar in theme to the idea that a sword would have a blast attack. Both are relatively ridiculous. Uh, let's grab these pants for, uh, they have no offensive stats. Let's get this meteor ring. That looks more fun. We'll grab that. And then all we have is Raquel left, who's our opportunist. Are we going bully on you? We are, so we really don't need... We're going to grab Contaminate, of course. So that now we have an opener. And then I think... I, this is the one that I'm most curious about. With Axe Power Staff, what are we getting pushed towards with Raquel here? Drum roll, please. Okay, so so big time opportunism, and right now she the the game is saying she really needs some cr some accuracy more than anything, with damage being a close second, but resistance reduction is also worth grabbing. Okay, cool. So here, let's grab the accuracy, get her hitting consistently, and then big opportunism is money in the bank. All right, cool. So now we're done. We're done with our level ups. I'm getting slightly better at making that uh, making that work. I think we can put you on this side. You can kind of be tip of the spear over here. You can grab that. We got 200 bucks to spend. Someone had a new trinket slot. Sure. Oh, Bane. If you haven't tried it. So the, the reason that it is so good is one. Pillar of Light is a huge debuff, which means that you can hit, like if you have six enemies in a, in a square here, you can power staff this enemy and this whole line gets debuffed and ready to be axed. So it's great for opportunism. It's great for movement because you have stunning entrance and Scorching Wave is just a standout amazing ability. And then you couple that with the ax having five uses of shred for cheap. It's a, it's a bomb combo. I'll uh, I'll try and do it justice here. We'll we'll see if I can, if I can. But I'm trying at least. Uh, I think I want an offhand crossbow for cheap. The crit pants I'll take. If they're if they're cheap, I'll grab them. Don't really care about the stun power staff. So let's let's give this a roll and see if we can find something better. And then ooh, another power ring. That's nasty. In, in the best possible way. And then let's get a second gold mine up and operational. Yeah, that looks pretty good. So another, another multi-hit ring means that... That's actually, that's not a bad one. I kind of wanted to put the offhand crossbow here, actually. Even though it's not benefiting from as much multi-hit there. And then this is kind of, this turtle charm is kind of nice. It's, is it better than, yeah, better than that. And then the crit pants, we'll put on Leland who at level four, having 45 XP is pretty, uh, pretty sweet. Bomb combo until you miss point blank. I mean, if you have a little bit of accuracy, you got nothing to worry about. Famous last words. All right, armored boots and those can get sold. And I'm not seeing anything that's tickling my fancy here, so we'll just we'll just chill on it. But we're we're in great shape for for this particular night. And Raquel is going to be eaten good. That's the that's the short version. Given that this was the harder side, I probably should have demolished this one. Do we just want to get rid of it so it's not in the way? Yeah, we're gonna have tons of tons of corpse piles after this, and this will make moving around a lot easier. All right, night number four. Here we go. Let's 
see, is this, I mean, I can run over here. There's no reason, there's no reason not to. It's not like these guys are gonna get much of a head start on us. Then I'll just move back a bit and we're ready to go. Hey, Sam, welcome on in. Welcome to the jungle. We have fun and or games. So Raquel's only problem is there's not going to be anyone to to kill. <laughs> oh, I hate that I'm getting poisoned there. That's that was a little sloppy. That was a little sloppy. So in a case like this, right, I can open with power staff. That gets me that, then I can do contaminate here, contaminate here, and then we got the axe shred. If we if we don't pick one up, we can always just zap them like that. Alright, we're we we are not quite popping off yet. Right, but good enough for government work. What's new today, Sam? Let's see, we can do... We can do that, and then I think... I'd rather... Right now we don't have status, so I'm I'm largely optimizing unnecessarily. Eventually we'll be gaining opportunism for that, which will make a big difference. I do feel like things are going a little too smoothly. Is there is there any challenge we can add to add, add mid run to uh to ruin my fun? Other than the obvious delete all of my ballistas, which would make me a little sad. Get a kill, jeez. So let's do that. Three or less movement on heroes. I mean, I can... I haven't taken any movement yet. We could do a no movement run. But that seems... That seems like it would really... It would push me very hard towards a lot of kind of like... Multi-hit long range builds. Hold on. Let me let me double check. It, that's super weird, the dud. Because I didn't even get a moderation request there. So just to be clear, like I'm looking at my at my chat log... And it's not showing up. So, I sometimes YouTube eats messages. Uh, so it could be possibly that that is what happened instead of uh, instead of anything more nefarious. Hey, Black Hammer. I know that there are definitely some. There are definitely some mechanics where town building is not necessarily the most optimal strategy. It is very true. Let's see, if I go... Let's go like that. We we could certainly pivot to more of a production build for, uh, for the remainder of this run. 
if that's what people were uh, were jazzed about. Hope we will see the return of the Blood Mage and Death Wish raining meteors while flying across the map. I I want a Blood Mage bad. We haven't had a really like standout Blood Mage in a long time. We had a we had a candidate here, but uh, but Raquel is is a uh, is pantsless, which which makes it a little hard. Yeah, I wish the, the way, I wish the wish, risk versus reward was slightly more more tuned. I'm hoping with the DLC we're going to see some balance changes. But okay, this is this is what we're going to do. This is my commitment. We're going to we're going to build some we're going to build some production buildings like a complete madman. Is such a thing even possible? Ouch, that minus crit is is stinky. Those are some nice pants. We'll grab those. Let's do level ups. Edlund, I, I don't really care. I, I'm gonna i I'm gonna grab some XP gain. We're just trying to power level her up. But some resistance reduction is fine. We'll take toxic leech. Now you, on the other hand, you're gonna hang around for a minute, Leland. So let's let's see what uh, let's see what the sheet is telling us about things at the moment. I am curious. So Leland, what's the deal, my friend? All right, multi-hit is the big get, but crit power is crit power is our best secondary stat, other than multi-hit. And right now, resistance reduction and accuracy are leading the charge with damage in third. Okay. Cool. So, this looks like a roll. Everything is low level. Crit's good. Crit was not high on our list, actually. I should look at that. Crit was only around 4%, but crit plus crit power was, was up there. We'll grab the crit power for obvious reasons. And then... Another trinket slot is good. We've we've been picking up some good trinkets, and then Raquel, our opportunist. Let's see what uh, let's see what she's working on. I'm predicting opportunism is going to be very very dominant here. But look at this. We haven't had a miss parse yet. The the changes that I made are working. Let's see. So opportunism and isolation. She wants. She's hungry for a little bit of resistance reduction. I think that's that's good advice. And then damage is in a close second. Okay. Yeah. And we like opportunism. Isolation, not so much. I, I should lower her isolation utilization quotient. Magic damage is fine. It's not great. And we'll just take damage. Ama, the guides. Thank you for the guides. Oh, thank you for watching the guides. Oh, that's that's the best. Uh, that's the best compliment of all. To to be perfectly honest, we'll grab Sadist first. But it just means a lot when people tell me that that I have helped them enjoy the game more. That's a really awesome feeling, because it means that. Yeah, it, it means that that people are enjoying the game because of. At least in part because of me, which is like a really, a really nice thing. Because I think enjoying hard games is a is a special thing, as a as a broad, as a broad observation. And sometimes hard games can be hard to appreciate, in the absence of, in the absence of a little extra help or and or guidance. All right, so I'm gonna build, I'm gonna build a freaking jeweler. Don't see this every day. 
I'm gonna build a jeweler and I'm gonna build an armor maker. Nope. Which is which one curves to the right? Okay, all of all of the production buildings. Do we want a bower, a magic shop? Oh, we kind of want none of those. Uh, we can we can tuck a we can tuck an armor smith. Whoops, an armor maker in here, like that, and then. We could tuck something in there. I don't like doing the the specific weapon ones, but we could also we could also put like a an alchemist somewhere. I don't really like the alchemist very much. Maybe we'll start out with those two. We could do the first upgrade for 180. We're making this a challenge run simply by spending all of our money on the wrong things, but that's okay. Uh, yes, the DLC will be $8. Eight, $7.99, I believe. Let me double check. Uh, yes, thank you, Black Hammer, for double checking it for me. Yes, the Dwarves of Runenberg expansion will indeed be $7.99. It was it was listed as part of the wish list thing also. So So I, I think we've we've known that for a little bit. But yeah, I think that's I think that's a reasonable price. Like I you know, I don't think it's good to nickel and dime people, but like I think it's also fantastic when developers can actually Let's get one ah, uh, let's get one of these going. We'll tuck one of those in that corner. I was going to have a hard time using it anyways. All right. Okay. There we go. Let's do let's do a little bit of demolition. But I like it when developers, especially indie developers, are able to fund continued development of their passion projects. Oops, I should have done. Let's, let's get some let's get some items. Yeah, I, sh I should have done that. I shouldn't have destroyed that. I should have. Uh, I should have mulched it, but that's OK. We get three corpse piles. That's a pretty nice chess piece ish. At least sell decently. So the dud, I'm doing this as part of that uh that discussed questionable uh questionable decision to uh to make my life harder. I'm spending my money in places that I should not be spending my money. So let's see, you Edlin does have some poison stuff. Has like 145 poison. I'd be more likely. Ah, oh, I guess we'll do this. All right, and then we'll do that, and then we're gonna sell all this stuff, and hopefully I'm gonna be able to upgrade a gold mine to spend our last worker. Yay! And then we have 59 more bucks to spend if we want to. But yeah, none, none of these are good decisions. These are just, does anybody need this? This is better for basically anyone. Let's buy this back. And we'll give it to, Leland doesn't need to move around a lot. So we'll, we'll give it to Leland. Okay. All right, and then, I think we're good to go. It, it is it is a bit of a problem in Lustrous. It is a bit of a problem. All right, here we go. Night number five. Let the bodies hit the floor. Jeweler is probably my favorite bad building to buy. It's fun to see what you get but it's rarely actually worth it. So here's here's my philosophy on, on production buildings as a general rule of thumb. I generally feel like you are, you're much better off buying buildings that everyone can benefit from. 
So like the jeweler, everybody has trinkets. If if you buy like an arm an armor smith, same deal. That's why I bought an armorer. Where are you? An armorer and a jeweler, because both of those at least benefit from. Okay, you have sadist. Ah, eh, we'll wait. I mean, I guess we could at least toss one of those and get one percent. But at least everybody can benefit from the results of them, which is not something that I can necessarily say about, say, like, a bower. Like, what, you know, what's the value of a bower? Yeah, yeah, we'll try and go, we'll try and go economy crazy, for lack of a better. Let's see, can I... Let's finish that off. And then I'm just going to poke this bat so that it doesn't, uh doesn't get too far then we'll do some cross map shenanigans there we go feeling good gotta say the the spiky shoulder pads looking sharp we got our first uh, our first elite hopefully he'll he'll wander in and cooperate Stunning entrance, though. For melee heroes, it's just, it's so good. Let's see, you got 272. We'll just, we'll poke you once. Good enough, and then you're gonna clean this up, no problem. We got some bats coming in on our flank, but I don't think it's gonna prove too terrible. Love to see it. Love to see it. We'll do that just to proc opportunism. What is going on with uh, Edlin's accuracy? It's at 15. Is this guy is dodgy? Is that your... Okay, 25% dodge. That makes sense. The thought here is that I probably need... I probably need our entire turn to get... to get all these bats taken care of, just because they're so annoying and resistant. Actually, if we... If we do that, it'll probably... It probably won't be too bad. Yeah, okay. Have I looked at Bingle Bingle? So, okay. Talk to me. Talk to me here. It felt like... You'll have to leave in an hour, so you better have a Blood Mage mage by the time you get back. Alright, I will, I will endeavor to do exactly that, the dud. For you, anything. Uh, no. A wounded enemy is not considered debuffed for the purposes of opportunism. Uh... Quanmin. Yeah, sadly, sadly that that does not count towards the uh, 
towards the opportunism activation. Unfortunately. So if I do this... Yeah, Bingle Bingle is basically... It, it felt like the... The Bellatro of of roulette, basically, for lack of a better descriptor, um, which I'm not I'm not opposed to per se. I just it, it felt like a bit of a ripoff, so I I pretty much dismissed it immediately. Is it actually good? All right, let's let everybody come in. Hey, Quan, thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Welcome to the community. Yeah, so it is, it is very much a... It is very much based on roulette, the casino game roulette, if you're familiar with that. And yeah, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe I need to take a look at it. I I love Bellatro so much uh, <laughs> that I I struggle to imagine uh, taking time to to bingle bingle. Has the same round slash shop intermission mechanic. Other than that, it's its own roguelite roulette form. See, that's the thing. Like, it it feels like a, like a direct copy in a lot of ways, which which makes me a little a little nervous. So okay, so another another imposed change that or imposed challenge that we could add to the add to the mix is we could cap ourselves at uh at three heroes or we could even cap ourselves lower i i don't want to cap ourselves at at one hero or something like that because i do want to get a few heroes built this round so but we we could hypothetically like hire and then replace type of thing all right, before we, before we do anything else, let's check out what we got for goodies. For a potential blood mage, that could be good. Those pants are pretty nice, though. Grab that. This could be worthy of a reroll. Yeah, it felt like it it borrowed very uh, explicitly and directly from from Bellatro, which you know, best form of flattery, etc. But it felt a little bit uh, a little bit spicy in its borrowing. Hey, Sin. My beef with Bingle Bingle compared to Bellatro is that it lacks the wild variety of jokers uh, that Bellatro has. Seems a bit too much like you can force any given strategy. Uh, that's a shame, Black Hammer. I because that is that is the thing that keeps me coming back to uh, to Bellatro is that that's a nice ring. It is that it feels like you really have to adapt your strategy. Like if you're not if you're not playing around the the cards that you're dealt you're losing which i really like i think that that's a that's a tough balance to to strike and so when it happens i'm i'm super appreciative i don't know i don't know what we're doing with this hero other than i think potentially release replacing them raquel holy smokes getting some damage up is really good here Skill range is, is eh. Uh, isolation is not great. I don't mind picking up some experience gain. And then I'm going to grab Mark because it gets our Sadist going a little faster. But is this when we build a in? I think it is.
I'm gonna put the in here. All right, right off the bat, we get offered a seven. Do we have an eight hero right now? No, we have, a, our highest level is a seven. So picking up another seven is good. Zayna is a scout, wholesome, short. I'm, I'm fishing for a blood mage. So let's just, let's just grab the highest level hero we can and hope blood mage or momentum. Both would be fun. Oh man. We got vampire, we got organic armor, we got boom, but we're not getting the blood mage. That hurts. Oh, that feels that feels heartbreaking. Are they just a strictly better opportunist than the one that we have? That might be the case. They have they have a great set of We go boom, we go, I think we go blessing to extend, ah, uh, maybe we don't, maybe we go hex. No, I think we go blessing big game. This hero has like huge opportunist energy. That's what I'm thinking. So maybe we replace Raquel. Get, get a pant slot back. Because the boom makes a big difference too, so let's uh, let's try it out. Short wholesome wholesome would have been so good. Also, makes me sad. All right, but yeah, we'll we'll do this. Let's go. We'll go opportunist, and we'll replace the other opportunist. So in addition to that, all of this eh, those pants are actually decent. And yeah, I'm gonna keep us. I'm gonna keep us at three heroes. So Raquel, you served us well. Maybe we'll go up to four. I don't know. That could be. That could be a reasonable compromise. That way we get one for each side. Not that not that that's that important. Also, I realize this town music sounds really like the town music from the original Diablo. That was a that was an aha moment that I had. So let's see. So let's grab some physical damage versus some opportunism. I think we're going to stack a decent amount of opportunism. I'm going to grab the movement. Let's get let's get movie. We'll grab some damage for sure. We need we don't need the accuracy. We're good on accuracy. A little resistance reduction, but these damages are coming in big right now. Okay, that's a roll for sure. I, I like I like that lore, uh, Bane. Seems very kind. Hey, Dram, welcome on in. How's it going? Let's see. Okay, we're on to secondaries. I think we can do better than that. We still have some levels to get. I'll grab one experience gain. Then I'm gonna start taking opportunism as kind of like our main bread and butter. Skill range doesn't do isn't that great for this combo. With the hammer, it's it's unbelievably good. But here I think we can we can do better. Uh-oh. 
Yeah, DD2 Kingdoms is going to be insane, Dram. I'm super excited about that. And yeah, I think Runeberg is going to be super cool. I can't wait for next week. That's I can't believe it's it's a week away. We're so close. We'll get some crit power from from Bully, so I think that's fine. Did forego Avid Learner. I think that's okay. At level 7, I think we can we can get away with it. We'll grab Bully first. All right, there we go. Cool. Okay, so one hero replaced. I think you're going to perform just fine. I'll grab one more item, I guess. Better hand crossbow isn't bad. Yeah, I'll grab a better hand crossbow. Somebody needs it. There we go. Then is this any good? I guess we just have a slot for it. Okay, we got we can do some rolling or in the in the spirit of whatever it is we're doing here. Grab a blacksmith. And then let's get to demolition. Then we need to build Do we have enough to build another jeweler? If we sell a little bit, we can. This is ill-advised, but I may do it. Let's get our mounted ballista going, though. Should have paid attention to where those were so that I could upgrade them. And then we want to just kind of fill in some of the gaps, but that looks good. Let's see. You... You don't... I don't think you need to do much. We're really like a two hero, and you're... And Edland is doing our, uh, our power leveling for the inn. Level three wand, though. I think it's worth grabbing. If we have a little bit of money left over, get somebody's wand upgraded. Oh, did we not have two wands anymore? Eh, we lose a skill range for, for a bunch more base damage. I think that's worth it. All right, so let's see. You, you're you going to solo this side, basically. I'll put you over here. I think, I think Leland is extremely capable of soloing things. And then, oh, yeah, we were going to sell to get that. Now nah, we're fine. Well, I'm going to build another jeweler over here somewhere, I think. And then I don't know what the last one that we're going to build is going to be, but 